Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this textured crop top. I'll be making this easy summer top in a size extra small plus. You can find the free written pattern on my blog and it ranges from sizes extra small to 5 extra large. The link is down below in the description bar. You will need DK Light 3 yarn, a 5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle and some stitch markers. For this pattern, it's really important to choose the correct size and yarn. This pattern has 19 different sizes, so please refer to the blog post for all the detailed measurements. To begin, create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 85. The foundation chain runs the width of the top. Once you have 85 chains, we're now going to crochet the grit stitch. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Double crochet into the next chain. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Continue the pattern of one single crochet and then one double crochet until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you'll have 84 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1. Throughout this pattern, chain 1 doesn't count as a stitch. Single crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of 1 single crochet, 1 double crochet, until the end of the row. You'll notice that a single crochet is always placed on top of a double crochet, and a double crochet is always placed on top of a single crochet. This is how we form the grit stitch texture. At the end of the row, you should have 84 stitches in total. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the end of row 34. And this is what your crop top looks like after 34 rows. If you want to make your top longer, simply crochet more rows of grit stitch. Just make sure that you end with an even number of rows. The width of the top will seem quite small, but it'll stretch out a lot once you wear it a few times. Once you're happy with the length of your top, we're going to slip stitch along the edge. Insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Slip stitch in each stitch across. Make sure to keep your slit stitches nice and loose to make it easy to take your top on and off. You should have 84 stitches in total. Fasten off and cut your yarn. This is what your top should look like with the right side of the slip stitches facing you. Fold your top in half lengthways and we're going to whip stitch the edges together. Make sure that the wrong side is facing outwards and the right side is on the inside. Thread a darning needle and then whip stitch the edges together.
Once you've sewn your edges together, open up your top so that the seam runs down the centre back. We're now going to crochet the straps the exact same way as we crocheted the body. Create a slip knot, insert your hook into the loop. Chain 7. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Double crochet in the next chain. Repeat the pattern of single crochet, double crochet until the end of the row. You'll have six stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row two, chain one. Repeat the pattern of single crochet, double crochet until the end of the row. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until your straps measure about 23 centimeters or 9 inches long. Pin your straps in place and try on your crop top. You can adjust your straps by adding or removing more rows. Your straps should fit snugly as they'll stretch out once you've worn the top a few times. Once you're satisfied with the length, fasten off. Repeat these steps for your second strap. Pin your straps into place. And now we're going to sew the straps to the top. Try to only pick up the tops of the single and double crochets. Don't insert your needle through to the other side of your stitches. This way the stitches will be hidden when you're wearing your top. Once you've sewn on all of your straps, turn your top inside out. Weave in all of your ends. If you want just a plain square neck crop top, you've finished your project. For the other three styles, we're going to crochet a long chain. Create a slip knot, insert your hook into the loop. Crochet chains until your long chain measures twice the length of your top plus 20 centimeters or eight inches. Once you've reached your desired length, fasten off and cut your yarn. Pull very tightly on the last chain to form a knot. Trim the ends of your chain. Fold the chain in half and line up the middle with the center front of the neckline. Insert your crochet hook from front to back and pull through your chain. It helps if you use a larger crochet hook. Leave a 1 inch gap, insert your crochet hook from front to back, and then pull through the other side of the chain. For the bow detail top, simply tie a bow and you're all done. For the sweetheart and gathered crop top, we're going to continue to weave the chain down the center front of the top. Each stitch should measure about 2 cm or just under 1 inch long. Use the crochet hook from back to front and then front to back to help pull through the long chain. For the sweetheart neckline, stop about halfway down the top. Pull on the long chain and then tie a bow. For the gathered crop top, continue to weave your chain all the way down until the bottom edge of the top. When you're at the end of the top, pull on both ends and tie a bow.
and you've finished your textured crochet crop top in four different styles.